Hello, Corvus here. Uh, welcome to this video where I will answer a question of a, of a user I got. Uh, I think it was on my, my showcase video about Dark Flat or else it was on the latest desktop update video. I forgot. But basically the question was uh, how I painted the, the cloak of, of this figure. Um, now instead of just giving a list of colors I used, uh, I decided to, to make a short video about it. Um, and that will give you some insight on how I use colors and why I use them. So before we start uh, discussing the paints, I'd just like to show you this. It's, uh, it's my book of secrets uh, that contains a lot of paint recipes of models I used. Um, I don't always do this, but, but sometimes when I start working on a model, um, I surely, for the, for the large areas, I always write down uh, the paint recipes. Um, two reasons, first of all, um, if I want to have a similar look on another model later, I just can consult this, this, uh, these recipes here. Another thing is that if I may make mistakes somewhere in a, in a later stage, then I, and I have to go back and then fix, for example, I painted a spot on the, on the skin, uh, I just can go back on the, to the skin recipe and make a mix that's quite similar to uh, fix, fix the mistakes there. Um, so you're here for the cloak. Um, I just mix some khaki grey with some black grey and then the first arrow means highlight colors, uh, shading colors, sorry there's a mix of violet, red and black and then to create a highlight I use deck 10 uh, first pure deck 10 and then I mixed in some white um, so for the mixes I uh, do one part of this, one part of that it's usually 50-50 mix or here for the metallics I used 4 to 1 chainmail tin bits means four parts of chainmail and one part of tin bits. Um, I don't measure any drops or something, I just, yeah, uh, usually uh, I just judge the amount of paint. It's not precise knowledge, uh, not precise science, but uh, that's really not really a problem. So, um, like I said, the, the base coat of the cloak was done by mixing a 50 50 mix of khaki gray and black gray. Um, I got a lot of comments on uh, on Dark Flat saying people saying yeah it's a cool mood uh, really uh, dark and moody uh, paint job uh, in the past also I got some other comments on other paint jobs I did um, yeah the, the people like the some not all of them of course like the the desaturated the, the monochromatic look um, that's really something uh, of me that I uh, just a technique. Uh, a style I developed over the past years. Um, so how do you achieve this style is basically by mixing in a lot of grays uh, in the, the paints I use. So I rarely put on pure paints like this. Uh, I usually mix in a bit of, of gray, grayish tones. Um, this khaki gray is also <laughs> quite gray of itself. Um, so yeah, it actually in, in technical terms it's called desaturating the paint, so a uh, saturated color means, means a pure color, like, uh, let me see, something very bright, um, yeah, just this red for example is very saturated, it's, it's a, almost a pure red, if you start adding some gray, then you will take out some of the color, you will desaturate um, the color, so yeah, started with a 50-50 mix of these two, and then what I do, um, after I do, did a base coat, is first I do the, the shading. Um, in this case, I did the shading by mixing in some violet red and some some black. Um, now, some people might think it's strange to add some violet red to the to the mix to shade. Why not add only black? Um, now, for that, I use a color wheel. When I'm painting, this this thing is constantly on my desk to, just to, uh, to get some inspiration. On colors uh, to paint on. Um, I might do a color theory video in, in the future but just going to give you a small bit of advice if for example you want to shade a color for example red you have to look at the other side of the color wheel and add that color so if you want to shade red you can add green just just try it if you take some red add some dark green then you will not get uh, desaturated or dark red, you will get yeah, a warm kind of red. Same goes for green, if you want to shade green, then add red. So yeah, this khaki color is somewhere uh, between yellow and, and green. 
Um, so what's on the other side? Violet, red violet, somewhere, somewhere over here. So that's why I added um, the violet red. Now if you're going to add this, then you're going to create a very colorful shade. It's not really realistic. Um, so as I go, I just add a bit more black. So I start with a, with a pool of violet red with only a pin pinpoint of, of black in it. And then I add a bit more black to the mix. Uh, and then to create a highlight, I started off with uh, Deck 10, pretty nice color, and just very warm, uh, warm off white. But this is not wide enough to create a final highlight. To do that, I uh, added a bit of pure white. And then I did something, I guess, if I remember correctly, something I didn't uh, write down in, in the notebook that was applying some, some glazes. Now that's also a completely separate subject um, that I'm not going to cover entirely in this video. Um, just this involves adding some glaze medium to paint, just to create a very thin paint. And then I think I did a, one or two glazes in the shadow areas with pure violet red, and then with I think with a deck tan or, or some yellowish uh, white, um, did some glazes on on the highlighting areas. So uh, let's put it on camera again. So I hope this gave you some insight on how I painted the, the cloak. Um, now picking the colors is only uh, the half of or a third of, uh, of, of uh, painting this of course. Uh, painting itself, the brush movement etc. That's a completely separate uh, subject. But uh, yeah, there's plenty of stuff to tell you guys. I uh, hope this video was informative. Uh, if you like it, please press the thumbs up button, the like button and, uh, or comment. It really helps me. Thank you. Bye.